Hello, and thank you for uh, choosing Orchestra's introductory series into SAP Business One. Today, we're going to talk about how inventory um, can be managed in real time in multiple warehouses. So to do this, we go into our inventory tab, and the first thing we're going to check is our item master data. Our item master data, as we know, is the home of all of the information related to our item, from pricing um, on multiple price listings to the actual costing data per, um, for the item. Now, what we really want to look at to isolate, you know, on a per warehouse basis, is the item uh, inventory data. Here we can see how much inventory we have in stock in each warehouse. So I can see that I have 23 in stock in warehouse one, 50 in stock in warehouse two, and what my current cost in each warehouse is. Now, because this is a real-time system, let's do a goods receipt. So let's just choose a vendor, anyone is fine, and let's choose our info print. And just to highlight the convenience here, let's purchase um, 20 items for each warehouse at different unit prices. We'll say 250 and 350. Tax code, everything looks good here. Now we're not seeing the warehouse, so what we need to do is actually open up our uh, form settings, go to table format, and expose the warehouse to this uh, document so that we can select a different warehouse for each item. Okay, so we are purchasing 20 of each for warehouse one and warehouse two at separate cost per warehouse. Um, we should be good to go here. Let's add our document. And now let's refresh our item master record here. So we went from 23 to 43, 50 to 70. And as we can see, our costing has been adjusted um, di for uh, at different proportions for each item. This is because it's being calculated in a moving average per warehouse. All right, and um, that would apply, of course, to your gross profit on invoices. Um, it would use the invoice, uh, the item cost, to calculate your gross profit from whichever warehouse you selected in the invoice. Now let's also look at some uh, reporting we have available to us in the inventory. So let's do an audit report. This report um, shows you every inventory transaction in the system um, as it relates to a certain item within the criteria that we've identified. So I'm going to group by items. I want to display my items, not the accounts they're hitting, and I want to just group them by warehouse. So I've chosen my info print. I can see here that in warehouse one, I have 43. I have a total cumulative quantity of 113 with a cumulative value of 40,989. Um, if I scroll down, I can go all the way to the document that I just did and see that there were 20 in at 250 cost, a total transaction value of $5,000 bringing my cumulative quantity to 43 and my cumulative value to 13,989. In warehouse two, we can see that we had an additional 20 brought in at 350 each for a cumulative value of uh, $7,000 uh, line value, um, cumulative quantity to 70, cumulative value to 27,000. All of this, again, in real time. Uh, this can also be shown in our inventory in warehouse report where we can see, okay, in warehouse one, what is my inventory? Um, and in this case, we're not looking at cost, we're looking at a price list. So it's important to note that we're using, in this case, last purchase price. Last evaluated price is typically your cost as of the last time you ran your audit report. It's what most people tend to use. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and I'm sorry we've run out of time on this video, but if you have any questions, again, please feel free to uh, contact us, 559-477-4256, or on the web at orchestrateam.com. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.